What's going on YouTube? It's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today I'm bringing you a tutorial. I've not done a tutorial in a long time. Uh, and actually at the time of watching this, I'm not home currently. Uh, I am on a retreat for confirmation. So this is with the scheduled uploader. I really hope it goes to sub boxes. Uh, because this tutorial was requested by... Let's see... Daily Dreamer HD. He requested that I do this tutorial. Um, on flow, you described it wrong at first, but it's flow. Um, the, what I mean by the flow of an edit is the pan crop and the velocity. The pan crop is the scaling, and the velocity is the speeding up and slowing down. Uh, I'll show you moving on. Actually, I'll show you tremble because there's a lot of um, pretty much all these start out all the same. They all start out with black bars, color correction, nothing on it. Um, I'll show you how I do the sinking the sinking part. I don't think I'll show the After Effects part yet. But also tremble because it shows the pan crop very well and it shows the velocity very well. So you see the clips kind of slow in the middle and it speeds up at the end of each little individual part. So I'm going to play this now. I'll be quiet. You'll watch it. If you've seen it before, you get to watch another time. And here you go. Let me make that all nice and big. I don't need to watch the full thing, but I think you get it. Um, so yeah, these are all my PC edits so far. Um, that was Tremble. This is Moving On, and this is Vigor. Uh, Vigor is Black Ops 2, Moving On is MW2, and Tremble was MW3. So get rid of those. Um, and this is actually a Vegas tutorial. You use Vegas for pan crop and not After Effects, um, just because you're dealing with very, very high frame rates. Uh, what I did first is I pulled out my Moving On song, Moving On by Ramses B. I have permission to use music. Great song, but um, you've heard it before already. So I have markers at each beat. Yeah, so I got markers at each beat. And what I have is my clips. So I have my New Town Plus 40, uh, my cinematic, my beginning cinematic, my ending cinematic. So what I need to do is just make a new audio layer. Uh, so right click this, insert audio track. Um, because this is my song, so I'm gonna actually title this song and title this gun. Uh, I just, come on, guns. I spelled it wrong. And this is clips. I might need to make another layer here. Uh, my voice should crack. Eh. I might need to make another layer, but I don't know. So, what I'm gonna do is, if you notice right now, I'm running 1280 by 720, 120 frames per second uh, interlaced, which is you. So what I'm going to do is drag on my first clip, and it's going to ask me, do you want to cite your project settings? I'm going to hit yes. What that will do will make my clip 1280 by 720 with 300 frames per second, because that's what the clip's recorded in. Um, pretty much, you're going to need PC demos for this. Um, if you can't record your own PC clips, uh, just like me, uh, look on Juicehive, um, you know, www.com slash youtube.com slash Juicehive. It's the old clip hive, really, where I used to get a bunch of my clips, console clips. But PC clips, they're, you know, it gets weird. Sony Vegas doesn't deal very well with 300 frame per second clips when standard clips are 30. So, uh, drag on your clip. It's going to look like poop. So I'm going to put it on preview auto just to make it a little easier on my after, or Vegas. And what I want to do right away is for this one, if you don't know the original clip, it just runs up the ladder, turns around 180, and it's a triple collateral. No scope. So I'm going to actually I think it's a quad, but I'm going to go here. I'm going to move along until I find this shot. I probably went too far. Yep. Usually Vegas, when I'm dealing with 300 frame per second clip, uh, 300 FPS clips, it doesn't like when I go forward. But if I go back in time, um, it's usually fine to a certain amount. And I went two frames too far, so I'm going to go over here. Is that the frame I want? Uh, I think it's this one. Yep. I want this frame right here. So what I'm going to do is that's the first clip of the shot, so I'm going to hit S to split that. Actually, before I split that, what I'm going to do is, actually, no, I'm going to split it, delete this, and I need to stretch this out because it's actually going very quick. I'm just going to go about, trim it about here because that's where I ended it. All right, and then I'm going to right-click, disable, or switches, disable, resample to get rid of any ghosting and ugly stuff, uh, and stretch this out. doesn't really matter how much but because you want it to slow down a bit. And now I have the stretched out clip. I'm going to drag this onto my one marker because that's. No, wait. I'm trying to think. No, I want this on my two marker. That's where I have my gunshot. So drag this here. That's where my gunshot is. 
and I'm going to drag this out so that if I go to my water marker, he's running up the stairs and pulling it, pulling out his, yeah, right there. Actually, slid on a bit. So I want him to be right here, just because the way the gun is, I want it there. So I'm going to trim that layer there, and just you know, it's clip dependent. Um, so he turns around, and then boom, hits the shot. So I'm going to go to two marker and split this bad boy. So now I just have the clip here and that clip there. So what I'm going to do is stretch this one out. Oh, if you don't know how to stretch clips, hold control, drag the left edge to your marker. So now I have this, and it goes forward, and then like bam, that's a gunshot. And so what I'm going to do here is just drag this out a bit to the marker. And now that I have these two clips, I'll do it with the cinematics in a bit. Actually, I'm going to put the cinematics in. Uh, in the beginning, I had the player cinematic, and then I had the death cinematic. So I'm going to put my player one in first. And you notice it kind of just he runs out. I'm going to start. He starts from a stop. And I'm going to start the cinematic from when he's running. So right here, S to split. Go towards the end. That sounds funny. And the pole gets in the way. So right there, split it. And remember to disable your resample for this. Disable your resample anytime you're using anything in Vegas. Um, so now I have this. I'm going to stretch this out. It's going to look weird at first. If I play it, it just looks like he's just running. Oh, nice and <laughs> something funny, but uh, it's like that. And now I'm going to grab my Nuketown Death Smooth. It's my death cinematic, which I think looks really awesome. It's just zooming out like this. I'm going to trim it right. Uh, I think about here is where I trimmed it. Alright. And it starts really close. And I'm going to stretch this out as well. And set switches to disable resample. So now I have, I don't even need these markers. I just made a few extra just in case I needed to, which I don't. So I have markers at each beat that I want. Um, and I have my clips where I want them. So now I'm going to get into the velocity part. So what, what you need to do for velocity, excuse me, is go to insert, remove envelope, envelope, however you want to say that, velocity. And then click on your beginning and drag this up to 300%. 300% if you're a Chief Key fan. Um, go like a third of the way-ish. Drag this down to like about 50%. I usually go 52. Anywhere around there. Then go like maybe another third over. So you're about two thirds of the way through the uh, video. And drag down to about 20-ish percent. I usually use 24. And then just click anywhere over here. Pull it all the way up to 300% and all the way to the end of your clip. And then click, right click this point that's like near 20 and set that to slow fade. What that does is it comes in and it makes it go out a bit faster. So now it comes out really quick and slows down. And it's emphasized and then it speeds up again right at the end. It comes into here. So we're doing that same thing with the other clips. Um, I'll do the other cinematic first. Insert move envelope velocity, 300%. So it'll go about, go about a third of the way. And 52%. Another third of the way, 24. It's arbitrary, but you know you can get these to like more precise things if you want. In the um, oh, I just did the wrong thing. Here we go. In the what's it called? Jeez, what what was it called? My vigor edit. I used 75 frame intervals on each side. Um, I put this exactly 75 frames. You know, from here is where I put the first that and 75 frames and the end is where I put that one. Um, you don't have to be too precise. It's If you're dealing with 300 frame per second clips, being a few frames off is one three hundredth of a second. The human eye can't really tell that difference. Um, so what you're going to do now is you have your velocity and we want to do it for the clips as well. So it's kind of a tedious process but you know uh, it's how it makes it look all cool. And obviously guys my pan crop and velocity settings are not perfect. I am no good PC editor. If you want a good PC editor, look at Fractal, look at Inseed, Relative Minds, any of those really amazing editing teams out there. Um, they're the ones who really did PC, but there's no tutorials on how to do this kind of stuff. I saw, I found one tutorial, and it was kind of laid out not very well, but I got the gist of it, and this is how I did it. Um, and just kind of looking at a bunch of different edits and, you know, thinking of how they were doing that. And once I learned the basics of how to do it, you know, I could 
look at an edit and think maybe I'll do this and do that blah blah blah. So now if I have all this I'm going to ramp pre or preview this out in preview or draft auto it's gonna look absolutely horrible and super colory and weird but you'll get the velocity and yeah there's that so here we're gonna preview now yeah so now you see that it goes slow and it's like boom boom and it's like you know speeds up at each marker um actually what I did for this clip is because I wanted it to zoom back in what I did is I took this 300 clip and I put it all the way down to negative 100 percent just because it zoomed back in a bit and then I also zoomed in a lot um, so now that we have the velocity down we're gonna get to the pan crop which is the scaling so what I do is start every clip I get the event pan crop and let me set this to preview auto and I drag it really close in like very close in and I go usually about 40 frames to 60 frames out I think this edit I did about 60 it's like 60-ish, drag it out a bunch, so it's like maybe, you know, about there, about 900, and then go 40 frames from the end, or just like wherever, really. So, um, 218, I'm going to subtract about 60 frames, I'm just, you know, put it about here, and then I'm going to zoom this out slightly, because what you want is you never want a static pan crop, which means you always want your clip somewhat moving. Um, then I go over here, and then zoom it back in. So what this does is it you know starts out really close, comes out, and then slowly zooms out, and then comes back in really hard, right into the next clip. And that's the basis of all these. Um, what you want to do here is so just drag this one in again. I usually don't drag it as much at the start of a clip. I'm doing this for the sake of time, I'm just kind of doing arbitrary stuff. Um, but you know, in your edits, obviously you want to be a lot more precise. I left this in more because it's the PC clip. Um, the field of view is definitely a lot different, so much more of the gun sticks out. Most people aren't used, used to that. Um, I play a bit of COD 4 and I play a little bit of 4 Delta 1, so I kind of got the basics, you know, look of that. But, you know, zoom in really close on the gunshot, and then go to my pan crop here, and I clicked on the wrong spot, pan crop. Come on, let's go, zoom this really far in. And, like, you know, over here, like 60 frames ish. Zoom it out. And then go over here again, zoom it out a bit, and over here, zoom it back in. And when I'm doing kill feeds, um, which is like the last clip in moving on, and I think two of the clips, yeah, wait, what? Three, yeah, three of the clips in Vigor were kill feeds, obviously not trick shots, we know there's multiple gunshots. Um, if there's multiple gunshots, I don't do this extra zoom in. I don't emphasize that as much. Um, usually I zoom in slightly, um, but not much, because you want it to really emphasize the next gunshot. Because if it gets too bouncy, it looks kind of bad. Um, so there's that pan crop thing. And let me just do pan crop one more for this one. I don't zoom in as much for this cinematic, because it's already really zoomed in. And go to 60-ish. Drag it out. Put it over here. Drag it out a bit and then go to the end, and since it's like reversing, and I want it to be really close, I zoom it really far in, so it looks like it's really like driving right back into there. So now if I preview this out, add a load, and I apologize for the length of this tutorial, somebody requested it, but it's not a quick process, so uh, it has to be done over a long period of time, and I hope this previews, that's not going to preview the full thing, let's, let's just watch this little part though. Oh, that's why it's on preview, huh, I need to set that to draft. Uh, uh, draft auto on um, one second just to make this slightly more um, better for your ears I'm gonna put in an intervention shot intervention fire here we go I'm just gonna put that on here and there and I'm gonna turn it really low yeah so there's that so let me just play this now oh, damn it there we go and I'm gonna I'm gonna preview that out. It looks awful because it's in a really, really shitty quality, but whatever. It's something. Alright. So now we'll watch this again. Come on. Alright. Yeah, I don't know if you saw a little bit. Um, I'm actually zooming this. I'm just gonna drag it out a bit so you can hear you know, more how it ends. Yeah, so here you go. Yeah, you kind of get how that goes then. It, you know, zooms in a lot. Shut up. Um, 
starts out zoomed in and then zooms in like before each clip zooms out and then like zooms in really hard before the next clip and there's that and then you know zooms in again for the cinematic and zooms in again at the end so if I put another clip there um, that's how I do my pan and crop in Sony Vegas um, and what you do to make this awesome is to I render this to a video or a folder titled finished never uploaded where I have my syncs um, actually this is a version of tremble to a different song um, where I you know render something without any cinematics or any uh, see like this one you'll see it this is the original version of moving on there you go so that one has no color correction so then I put that in after effects throw on a bunch of black bars and blah 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 and it looks all cool so uh, if you want to see that how to do what I do in after effects uh, leave a like and comment Tell me what you're thinking. Hit me up on Twitter at the cool. Name. Actually, no, no, no. It's at it's TKNG. Uh, the updated links should be in the description, and it's also on my channel. Uh, if you go to my channel and click the Twitter thing in my header, it will go to my Twitter account. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this very lengthy tutorial. If you're still here, give you a big thumbs up, a pat on the back, and a thank you. Um, obviously, my views have been down. Edits always get more views than tutorials. But I feel that tutorials help more. Um, I like doing them. I help the few people who do watch them. I feel it does help them as well. So thank you guys again, once again, for watching. Uh, edits more, more edits coming soon for sure. I released an edit titled Twenty Three today, but like nobody watched it. <laughs> it's got like ten views. Hopefully, it should have a bit more by the time I get back from this retreat. But uh, thank you all for watching once again. My name is Cool Ninja Guy, and I will see you guys later. Here we go!